What's going on, buddy? Dan, I'm filtered. I'm filtered reactions. Continuing. Corn 3. Remember who you are. This is Papa Pill. And I'm excited. So far, this album, it's only been one song. Oil Dale, but good lord, it was good. And people in the comments section of Oil Dale was saying that that this album is back to the roots. It is grimy again. They, I guess they, it's called Corn 3 because they have the same producer. It's the third album with a the producer they had uh, back in the day. So I am excited for the rest of this album. I'm pumped up. I am pumped up. And we got sports coming back. I'm super pumped. Life is looking a lot better nowadays. Remember who you are. See, now it makes sense. The album name, Remember Who You Are. Because they're going back to who they were. Like who they are underneath. So let's check out Papa Pill. And uh, follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Um, if you like wrestling, uh, Unfiltered Wrestling. Check it out sometime. We talk wrestling on there. But let's pop up there. That classic corn sound. See? They they remembered who they were. This is the psycho corn. This is psycho corn. They they did it long time ago. And a lot of people didn't like it when they kind of stopped doing it. It's back. It is back. Even in the Untouchables album, which is my favorite corn album that I've heard, uh, it didn't have a hell of a lot of the psycho corn. You know, the, where it's like, Jonathan Davis sounds like he's right on the edge of losing his shit. This is that sound. Nice drum roll. Today, you today, 
you today. <laughs> Okay, good ass song. That was good. All right, we're two for two. We're two for two. I'm excited, man. We got crazy corn back. Psycho corn is a thing and it is real. And is there anything better? I don't know why more singers don't do it. it, it it's like every now and then. I love when towards the end of a song, a singer... Jonathan Davis is kind of known for doing it. He kind of feels like he's losing his shit. He's like almost out of breath. You hear him huffing and puffing. You hear just little like vocal sounds. It's not even really part of the song. But it adds like... It adds so much. It really does. It makes it feel like he gave his all in that studio recording it. It's like he was passionate about this song. He really cared. It, it's a small details in a song... And that's, it's just one of those things. It's it's pretty sweet. Let me see if I can catch one of those moments. You today, today, you today. Like you can hear him breathing in and everything. You today, you. Because they could easily edit that out. They easily could edit that out. Most songs they do. You don't hear people breathing while they're singing. They think it's 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 not good for the sound. It ruins the song. No. No, it doesn't. It makes it feel more raw, more real. Like he just is done. He's gassed. Today. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. We're back in that bag. Corn's back in their bag. That they've opened the toolbox and they've grabbed some of the originals. They got some of their original sound back. And I'm happy for it. It did end with some digital things coming in. Is that like a, a nod to what is to come? Is that foreshadowing that the digital may be returning very soon? That could have even been a lead into the very next song. Should I be worried? Or am I overthinking it? I could be overthinking it. It could have just been an outro who cares type of thing. But it could be the lead in to a very, maybe poorly digitalized song. I don't know. But I am kind of scared. Let's find out. And hit like. Hit subscribe. Again, if you like other stuff, check out the other channels. And if you are still here, you are a real one.